When was it? When did you really fall in love with me, bro? When, Natalie? The people really want to know, like, honestly, because I confess my love to you. So you, what if I never confess my love to you? What if I didn't even tell you that I was in love with you? Would you even be in love with me right now? So before this video starts, we want to tell you about this amazing app called Soul. It's a social chat app, which is really cool because yes. you can connect with like-minded individuals after just taking a personality quiz. So once you take the personality quiz, the app will actually place you on a planet Yo. with other like-minded individuals. Oh, it's so cool. Check out the planet right Whoa. here. These are all people that are just like you. you. Well, in this case, us, us because yeah, this was sure. based on our personality. But then it's so cool. All right, you can meet up with people. Press, press, Go, press, click so, it, click but, it. But meet up with people. Boom. So when you Watch meet it. up, look, we're flying. It's flying Ooh. to a chat. Ooh. It places us in a chat with somebody else that is similar to us. So I can just randomly start talking to somebody. Yeah, here we go. So cool. Okay, okay what Come else? On, I'm, ready, I'm ready to talk to him, baby. Tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him. Another cool function about this app is that there's audio call. This allows you to talk to different people in your soul planet, guys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's actually like a phone call. So all you do is click it and it will randomly pair you with somebody and you'll be on the phone. We're gonna do it with you later. Another awesome function is you can take selfies with oh, Soul Cam. Soul Cam. Let's All right, check it, it out. Okay, flip it. Look. Hey! <laughs> so you can take pictures and post them. It's super yes. dope. And like I already mentioned, there is Soul Quiz where you can take very in depth quizzes yes. and it will pair you with more like minded individuals. Yes, guys. And if you want to express yourself or you want to see other people on your timeline, click the explore tab right here. Yep. And you look. can see other people's posts. This is look at dope. all of this. This is literally so a whole cool. timeline of everybody's expressions and cool art. It's everything on food, there. everything. Yes. Okay, guys. So it's about to go down. We're going to use the audio call feature. I'm so excited for this. Yo. Okay. You ready? ready? Yeah. Okay. Press it, press it, press it. It's finding us an online Ooh. solar. Oh. Hello? Hello? Hey. Where you come from? Where do you come, come from? from? I'm from Malaysia. Ooh. Malaysia. Ooh, cool. You got, you got two people here right now. Yeah, me and my homegirl. Where you guys come from? Uh, we're from the US. Ooh. Yeah, the US. <laughs> Okay, well, it was nice chatting with you. Okay, bye. Bye. That was so cool. That was so cool. He was just cool. like, hey. he, he was, he was so. super swaggy. Yeah, Mr. Super swaggy. swaggy guy from Malaysia. <laughs> Heck yeah. Yeah. Cool. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> But that's the Soul app, guys. It's so freaking cool. Like you can meet your friends, your your friend mates. Like how yeah, we even off. maybe. I mean, you never know. You could be. You could meet your soulmate. Right, you you know, you never you know. Could. You never know. If you guys want to try it, hit the link in, in the description, description below. And download the app. Soul app. What's up, DC Gang? So we're <laughs> eating some pho or pho, however you. Monroe said it's fast. Well, Monroe said it's fast. So we also have some sushi. Sushi. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm basic. I got that California roll. And I got a big salmon roll. I Ooh. love big salmon. We're actually going to uh, do a little story, story time. time. Wait, wait, wait. How does this work? What do I do with these? Okay, so this is like. I don't eat this. Inside the bowl is some chicken. They have some green onion. And then there's some rice noodles at the bottom. Yay. And you can add this in there, the jalapeno. Oh, and, and then you pour the juice, baby. And then you pour the this, the um, broth. And these little white things are like a type of bean okay. that adds a little bit of crunch. <laughs> All right, so I'm pouring in the liquid, the juice, the seasoning, the sauce, the drip. I'm gonna add probably okay. like half of this sriracha. I'm a and little traumatized. I am, I know, please do not. All right, let's get into it now. Oh, shoot. Okay. Let's talk to them. So what, what kind of storage we got for? We got so, juicy. We got spicy. We got extra hot. And we got devil's ass. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I'm going to tell a story of the moment I knew I was officially in love with Easy. 
And you're gonna tell the same story. You heard Pluto, he was right on cue. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Pluto, come on, buddy. Okay. So I feel like, you know, this is a really, really highly uh, requested question. You know what I'm saying? Because they really wanna know. I feel like because I've confessed my love, it was like, all right, you were ready to tell me that you love me. You were ready to accept my love. But when was it exactly? When was the moment if, you know, they don't know already? I feel like you've never told well, the story. Well, you, no, I haven't, I haven't, I think I started telling it one time on okay. live, and then I was like, let's make it a story time. Okay, all right, so. Um, all right, so, you okay. first, though. It's been so many moments where I already knew. Y'all already knew I was in love. You know what I'm saying? Is it hit, is it hitting, babe? Mm. It's hitting? That's fire. Oh. Mm. We got a little. Mm. Ice drinks on the side, sparkling ice. These are actually fire and they're low calorie. They're only mm -hmm. five calories and they taste like you're drinking like a juice. Right? Kind of like a soda, I guess. Yo, ice, sponsor us. I know, right? <laughs> okay, so I feel like one moment for me where I could really be like, yo, I'm in love with her. I was talking to this girl, right? And I really liked her. She was, she was cool or whatever, right? And You listen? I'm listening. Okay. So I, I I decided to tell Natalie I was talking to this girl. Right? Yeah, she, we were your best friends, so right? she knew everything. But I told her like I liked this girl. Mm -hmm. So she knew like usually the girls that was coming in and out of my life, it wasn't really as serious. Natalie was just kind of like, well, why? Like you know what I'm saying? Like why I was you a like her? Protective like, best friend. She was very protective best friend. No one was dead enough for easy. Mm -mm. It was a different emotion that she was like, how she was coming off. Usually she's just like, oh, let me see, like, ooh, like, you know, but the emotion was totally different, okay? And I started to question, I'm like, yo, like, maybe I'm not supposed to go out with her, maybe I'm supposed to be going out with Natalie, but I'm like, nah, nah, nah. You we were like, trying to see, was it like, what's up, like, does that, what were you, what I you was mean? trying to see, like, make, cause I already knew I was attracted to you, but when you like felt that, I felt like we had a connection right then and there. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm like, wait, like, yo, is it supposed to be me and you? Like, but I didn't want to say that out loud because I already knew as her best friend that she wasn't gay or whatever. I you know? wasn't. She no, wasn't. Gotta, because, wasn't. Because, you know, you, you know, you like me. But, so then, you know, time moves on or whatever. And, you know, I'm still dating this girl. And then I, I, I decide to talk to my mom. Mom. I think I'm feeling Natalie. And she was like, what? What? She's like, I knew it, I knew it. You know, she knew that I was dating this girl. And she was like, well, dang, like, you know, how long do you think it would be before she, like, you know, wants to talk to you? I'm like, well, first of all, she's not gay. And, you know, my mom is like, she's all for it. She's like, maybe you can work on her. Maybe you can leave her and be with nothing. And I'm just like, mom, chill. So she was trying to give me, my mom was giving me advice or whatever, and I literally vented to my mom and told her, like, I really like Natalie, like, but I don't think it would ever work because she doesn't like women. Wait, was I it hard to, to, like, admit this to yourself, let alone another person out loud? Hell no. I'm oh. gay as hell. <laughs> I'm gay as hell. For you, I would understand, you know what I'm saying? It'd be hard to admit that, you know? And there just have been so many moments where I just looked at Natalie, like, before, after, in between, so I was like, yo, like, I'm really falling in love with this girl. And there was this moment we were literally having a movie night. I forget which movie. And Natalie just laid her head, and I'm just chilling like this on her couch, right? Now, and Natalie's not in between my arm like this. She's uh, she's like sitting literally right next to my arm. Uh -huh. And instead of getting right here, she leans down on my lap, right? And I'm just like, not like, like she's leaning down like this. And she's kind of like looking up, and I'm like. Hey, you? Yes. I don't even remember You remember me? You right? She was looking up at me. I'm looking up at her. The movie's playing. The scene is going. I'm like, yo, what's about to happen? We're locking eyes. Our souls were intertwining, connecting. Wait, I don't remember. I knew it. Nah, of course you don't want to remember this Neezy gang. She remember. What? She was in love, y'all, bro. We looked at each other's eyes and it was literally like my heart just, it wasn't even skipping a beat. It felt like I found my soulmate. And you were talking to another girl at the time? Yeah, f her. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't gonna work. It wasn't gonna work, but my guy. But you liked the girl a lot. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't that, like it was just like a... Yeah, but but I did. But look at this though, we didn't work out and it wasn't because, oh, I was in love with you. It just didn't work out because I never pursued you. Mm -hmm. You feel me? 
Like, you know, I dated a lot of girls, you know, while we were friends, but yeah. it was just that moment. It felt like, yo, like, this is, this is my soulmate. Look at her. Don't she just look like a soulmate? <laughs> she eats. <laughs> that won't bite you. I'm going to You know what I'm saying? So it was just so many moments I really can't pinpoint. No, your room's closed. All right, there's so many moments I can't really pinpoint, but I just knew like those few moments was like, y'all, I'm in love, man. Wait, yeah. I think the next wants to know, though. What did your mom say? Because I interrupted you. Oh, she was. I told you she was for it. Oh. Yeah, she was all for it. She wanted it to happen, but she thought it couldn't. Have... She was like, give her time. You okay. know what I'm saying? Because she knew you weren't. But like, you know, you run into women. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So it was just like you got to give her time. But she knew that I could. That you could give me time, or you could. What? You could what? <laughs> I can give me time. <laughs> okay. You no, know I me mean? easy, but she knew. She was plotting. No, he was plotting. All right, so Lord, good morning, get... baby. When was it? When did you really fall in love with me, bro? When, Natalie? The people really want to know, like, honestly. Because I confess my love to you, so you... What if I never confess my love to you? What if I didn't even tell you that I was in love with you? Would you even be in love with me right now? Yeah, I would be. Would you? I would be, because I would heard... Be I was... I don't know if we'd be together. But I would definitely have had feelings for you. For sure. Wow. That's but, crazy, y'all. Make sure y'all shoot y'all shot. Because you could really be missing out on the woman of your dream or the man of your dream. Shoot their shot. All right, baby. Talk to us. Talk to the people. They want to know. Mm hmm When you really, really knew you were alone. And I know it was before, you know, I you know, said it's not. Okay, so this is crazy. This is the moment where it really hit me. And I actually told this story, I think, once before. A lot of people, they keep commenting like they want to know. So yeah, I didn't tell it in depth and I only, and it was on a live. Mm. So if you watch that live, you're a real one if you know what I'm about to say. Throughout our friendship, we would still date other people, okay. talk to other people and stuff, especially her. I'm picky, so I would be like not talking to nobody for a long time. And I was dating. I'm trying to find a shouty. You know what I'm saying? You got to go trial and tribulations. <laughs> She was dedicated to the dating scene. Mm -hmm. So, you know. Sorry, y'all. This is good. <laughs> so, during um, our friendship and her dating other people and stuff like that, Don't I was just used to people coming in and out of her life. Okay. And most of the time, I didn't really feel anything. I will just be like, hmm, let me see what I think about this person. Let me see their page. Let me meet them, blah, 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 blah. At the moment that I actually felt like, dang, I'm in love with her. Don't and I couldn't it. believe it because I had never looked at a girl in a way, never thought I could even have feelings for a girl, nothing. <laughs> but I remember we were hanging out. Mm -hmm. uh, we were going to get some food and we were at Wingstop. Oh! And we're inside Wingstop. And she tells me, oh, I think I'm gonna go hang out with this girl. Like, this girl who... Oh my God. Baby, baby, baby. This girl that she was trying to um, talk to for a while, but the girl was just, I guess, like, you know, playing hard to get. She was the great. girl finally wants to hang out with her. Whatever. Mm -hmm. She's like, oh, I wanna go hang out with this girl. Yep. So, I, obviously, my feelings were a little hurt because I'm like, wait, we were supposed to be hanging out. You know, we're celebrating. We hang out all the time. Don't defend yourself. This is my story time. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, baby, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. So, I'm like, you know, rubbed the wrong way already about it. And, you know, she, you know, she has been like playing real hard to get, so I kind of wanted to take the opportunity whatever whatever right right so i was like oh, okay you know i'm just smiling in her face and i go into the bathroom and i just felt like when i was out there when i was talking to her about it i felt this lump coming up into my throat and i was like what is this am i about to up. choke on my food like, like throw up what is happening and it felt very similar to when you're about to cry and i was like what is wrong with me 
So I go um, to the bathroom and I'm like, Whew. I'm looking at myself in the mirror what? and I'm just like, are you okay? Like looking at myself, like what's going on? Like I didn't know what I was feeling. It was very, very confusing. And I, I feel like what only somebody who was straight and turned like gay and had been completely straight their whole life would understand that confusion. So I'm looking at myself and I'm like, you're fine. And I like, I was talking out loud to myself. I was like, you're fine. What's wrong with me? Like, are you okay? Like, I'm literally talking out loud like, it's okay, nah, it's okay. I started boo-hoo crying hard. And I was like, I literally said out loud as I was crying, oh my God, I'm in love with her. We had never talked to each other about having feelings for each other. Mm. So, but yeah, and I then I ended up like thinking like, girl, you need to pull yourself together. You're not even gay. What is wrong with you? Like, I, I had mean, to like wipe my tears and like pretend I wasn't just like <gasps> crying in the bathroom. Oh my god. Tell tell the story from your side. So I come out, I wipe up my face, but she comes out. You no, know, I was so emotional. I just knew I couldn't be in there too long. Yo, she comes out. And her face is red. Eyes are glossy. Look like the, I think she looked like the cutest chipmunk in the world. Like Alvin, to be exact. <laughs> Alvin and chipmunks, I think that's, yeah. And it was just these big old cheeks, these big old green eyes. And I was just like, yo. No, you didn't. <laughs> Okay, what did I do, baby? Tell, tell me. It's your story, though. Tell me. Tell me. She basically was just like, are you okay? You know, I was like, mm -hmm. I'm like She's trying to hold together. back tears. Because you know, I, I know y'all know news again. When somebody asks you if you're okay, when you've already, already tried to hold back tears, yeah. and it makes you want to cry harder. And I was just like, honestly, it was just, I really wanted to spend this time with you. Because I didn't want to tell her that I was in love, in love with her. And I was still confused. I didn't, and honestly, I didn't even feel comfortable talking to anybody about this. So it was like feelings that I just was like suppress, suppress. And what did you feel knowing you were in love with a woman? Confused. Confused. Super confused. Cause I'm like, is this normal to feel like this about your best friend? Like, I know that this is a different type of connection, but is this normal? Like I was, I can't even explain to you how confusing that was. Yeah. And tell them, did I still go out with the girls or no? You for 100% went. She 100% went, even though I but was listen. crying, talking about, I want you to but stay. But listen, listen, I did go out. I did go out still, but we did have a long talk. You know, and I, I had, you know, I really wanted to cater to her feelings as my best friend. And it was just like, okay, like, I felt like, you know, if she loved me, I didn't think she was in love with me. I just thought that, you know, it's just another day she really wants me to be here just today. For some reason, she's overly emotional right now and just really wants me to stay. So I talked to her, I held her, I hugged her. I'm like, it's gonna be okay, I'm gonna see you, like, still, you know, and it's just like, we see each other all the time. Like, you know, I just wanna hang out, see what's up with this girl or whatever, like, you know. We had a conversation, we had a talk. Yeah, I wasn't understanding and she still went. <laughs> But look, me and the girl didn't work out, obviously, so, you know. Yeah, so you could have spent that night with me and you spent it with a girl you wasn't gonna work Dang, out with. Dang, that anyway. could have been the night that I really, really confessed, or you confessed your love to me. That could have been it, that's the but awesome how much world. you have really been falling in love with me if you still went out with that girl? I'm confused, make it make sense. Hold on. To all my LGBTQ plus community, y'all know, y'all know how these straights be playing. They play too fucking much. We can't be dealing with Rose behind the camera y'all right now. And he's like, what? What? Right. right. So right. listen. You're right. The strains can't trust him. Oh, exactly. He thought he was too. I thought he was on my side. You can't trust these strains. It's like, all right. If I would have stayed, she wouldn't have confessed her love. She ain't been playing with my damn emotions. Wait, first of all, this straight is the best thing that's ever happened to you. So be quiet. Period. I was literally like, it's normal that I just wanna hug and cuddle my best friend and that I, you know, want her to come over 
Every single second. Every single second. And every day. We would have slumber parties every single night. And it would be like nothing, you know, intimate. Mm -hmm. But I wanted her to be there all the time. All the time. Okay, Nizi Gang. This fu was so fucking good. You are <laughs> annoying. So good. Yeah, I finished all mine. I finished my sushi. Natalie clearly still has a lot of food left. I eat fast, but also she eats really slow. But this was good. I like fu. It's so fu. <laughs> She's so corny. That's my baby. Uh, anyway, so yeah, guys, this was really fun. If you guys enjoyed hearing a little story time hey. while we, I guess, do a little mukbang, 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 whatever mukbang. you call it, let us know below and we'll give you some more stories while we eat. Why do you guys like watching these? I know I like watching people eat, but why do you? Comment below, all right? Neasy gang, subscribe, follow us on TikTok, Instagram, all that. Gang gang, we are out.